everyone. So, today I am here with an interesting question for you. If I ask you who is the fastest man on earth, without hesitation, I am sure you would say, Sir Usain Bolt. Good. But how do we know he is the fastest? How can we say he is the fastest? That's the question. Interesting. Let's dive into it. Come on. Let's see. So, people who don't know about Usain Bolt, he is a Jamaican sprinter. Jamaican athlete who holds the record for being the fastest man on earth. In 2009, he set his record for a 100 meter race and his average speed was 37.58 kilometers per hour. And his top speed was 44.72 kilometers per hour. So this was a record and still a record. Now, look at the speed. It's insane. And people who still think that we don't see how, how, how huge it is. If you try calculating your time for a 100 meter race, you will get to know how fast he is. All right, so how did we calculate this? That's the question we want to answer. Okay, let's see, come on. So one way is, so there is a 100 meter track, all right. Now before starting, the moment they just give you go, they turn a stopwatch on. Okay, nice, right? So they turn the stopwatch on, fine. And the moment an athlete crosses the finish ribbon, you might have seen them running and crossing the finishing ribbon, right? The moment a person touches the ribbon, you stop the clock, right? So whatever time you notice, right, you will get 9.58. So this was the time recorded for Usain Bolt. So for 100 meters, you recorded time of 9.58 seconds, nice. What is the speed? Speed is what? Distance upon time. We have a distance as 100 meters, right? We have a time recorded as 9.58 seconds. Now, when we do the calculation, we get 10.44 meter per second. If we convert it into kilometer per hour, how? Into, eight, into 18 by 5. Simple, right? So you will get 37.58 kilometer per hour. Nice. But is it like he was running throughout his journey with this speed? No. This was the average speed for the journey of 100 meters, right? We just calculated the average speed because he started from zero. We know this, he wasn't running constantly with this speed. This would have been his speed if he was running with a constant speed to cover the 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. It's like an average, right, of the whole journey. But we know this is not constant in reality because an athlete, they start from rest. It was zero in the starting. They had to accelerate first, reach at a speed, right? So that's why we understand it's a non-uniform motion that, that Usain Bolt was running with, right? So varying speed motion is what we call as a non-uniform motion, correct? So average speed cannot tell us his exact speed at any specific time. It's more like an average, a way of telling he covered 100 meters with a speed of 37.54, right? So fine, this is average speed. But what do we need? There was also a top speed. How did we get to that? There's no way, right? There is. So what we are trying to find? Instantaneous speed. At any particular moment, what speed he was running with? That is what we call as instantaneous speed. There's a word instant in this. Means at that particular moment, okay? Nice. So speed at any specific time or at any instant of time is what we call as instantaneous speed. In our cars or bikes or scooties, we have a dial, right? We call it the speedometer. It tells you the instantaneous speed in vehicles. But for runners, we use a radar gun. Now, recently, you know, we have started using lidar guns also, right? So, correct. This is radio that is light based. Simple, right? So, radar guns are used to calculate the instantaneous speed of a, of a runner. You might have seen these guns with the traffic police and whenever they just charge you for over, over speeding. You might have seen this happening, right, on highways. Yes, they use also a radar gun, all right? So top speed is the maximum instantaneous speed. Wherever you say top, top means high. It's the maximum instantaneous speed. And that is for Usain Bolt, right? So how to summarize five things? Average was different and top speed was different. It was 44 around something, right? So if you summarize everything, average speed is the total distance covered in unit time. Instantaneous speed is how fast a body is at any instant. Fine, the speed at that instant. Average speed and instantaneous speed can have different values, that's true. So, if you understood all these things, let me ask you one question. And I want the answers in the comment section. If a car is undergoing uniform motion with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, what is its instantaneous speed at any given time? Okay, 
Is the question clear? Think about the question and answer in the comment section. And people, if you think this was helpful, if you realized something new, if you learned something new, like the video. Make sure you press the thumbs up button. Make sure you share this video to someone who might be needing it or this video might help someone too. Subscribe to the channel because we are doing everything and you would know only if you are a subscriber, fine? So these three things are very important. It's, a, it's an actionable item for you. Make sure you are a part of the te uh, Telegram group because we give all the notes, all the session updates on this group. It's a very nice group, no spamming, only content, fine. And I hope you understand this now. Even though we don't forget to tell this to you, I hope you also never forget that, you know what? We have got you covered and we mean it, fine? Take care, we'll meet again in the next session. Till then, keep learning.